never think for a second I'm a really organized, good YouTuber, you are completely incorrect because quite frankly, my camera screen is half hanging off. You are balancing on a glass and the camera is also taped. But hi everyone. I always say I feel like I've missed you. Well, I need to stop saying that because technically you see these videos all the time. But like for me, oh, I don't know. I guess I do miss you guys, but like I really need to stop saying that. So after my recent video, of me baking pizza from scratch, I decided it's better when I actually don't try and put maximum effort in, because quite frankly, it doesn't end that well. So I've done this video before where I follow TikTok food hacks, and it actually was a success, so I thought I would try some more out. You guys DM me some that you wanted me to try on Instagram, and I've been wanting to try them for the longest time. I've actually been eating a plant-based diet for the last 10 days, and I am so proud of myself for keeping it up although in this video it's actually going to fail because quite frankly you can't actually do this eating plant-based I mean you probably could but with it just being really hard to go to the shops at the moment we're not really supposed to go out I'm trying to stay at home I found food that we had at home already so for that reason I mean some of it's new that my mum got to the shop when she did the food shop but like you know she's really trying to keep up the plant-based new year new me but I've missed chocolate so I'm like extremely excited for this anyway I hope you guys do enjoy smash a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you guys haven't already if you want to get involved in more videos like this then you know what to do subscribe down below and follow my instagram because that's where it's all happening right now i am gonna start off with the one that excites me oh my god the most i'm so excited for this mozzarella sticks or dips dippers whatever they do what's it called at mcdonald's <laughs> breadcrumbs, egg and canola oil. Don't know what canola oil is, I couldn't find it, so I'm just hoping that we can use olive oil. It's probably not the same thing, but I'm gonna tell myself that it is. It's almost a little bit harder because although it looks like it takes five seconds on TikTok, it actually doesn't. I've actually had to Google the recipe. I will leave the recipe that I'm using down below, but I'm still following the TikTok guide. What have I got? What have I got? Flour? Flour? <laughs> Why did I go in my blank? We've got a sieve. We've gone up in the world. If you watched my last video, we didn't have a sieve. See, now I'm a chef. I'm like buying all these chef-y things. Breadcrumbs, baby bells. I love baby bells so much. And ever since it's been vegan, I can't eat them. Actually, are they vegan? Obviously not. That's what I thought, but then I thought they might be fake cheese. The recipe that I'm using is serves 18, okay? Because so we're having to third it, so we're using six baby bells. And it's supposed to have one egg for this. So catch me trying to use a third of an egg. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. What was that? Oh, I just put the whole egg in. Mm. Oh my god, it's actually gonna be unreal. Doesn't it actually look like a mozzarella dipper? But Jed's gonna love them. Oh, look at my hands. So this is, I want to say the end result. Unfortunately, this isn't the end result yet. We're not sure what's going to happen with the end result, but actually looking quite good. So now it's time to go in the oil. Oh, oh okay. wow. McDonald's who? Oh, hello. I've never been so excited about anything in my entire life. Literally going to be insane. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. That is better than a much better dip from McDonald's, so McDonald's here. Wow. I can't believe I just made that oh, yeah, good. from scratch. Oh my god. Literally. Well, it wasn't that hard to be. I mean, they like, really weren't that hard, but like if you're bored at home right now and there's one thing you want to do today, make oh these. My god. Really nice. Literally, aren't they insane? <coughs> They're so good. It's a joke. probably seems really quite obvious but I've never done this in my life and it literally looks insane basically it's a compact Nutella melted sandwich but it just looks more like incredible it's almost like a mouth watering and I think I got said this one like more than any and so all you need is bread and Nutella oh f you stay up right Already, I'm loving the look of this. It actually looks like it's worked. I mean, my bread looks tiny, but I'm excited for the end result. Is it ever muffled? Do I pop out? No, I think it needs to pop it up. Woo! Look at that. The show is on the road, baby. 
Oh yeah, that's really good. I mean, it actually doesn't look really good. It, it looks does. like some toast, but I'm sure it will be really good. So this is what it looks like. Oh my, you can't even see. Oh my god. It's amazing. It's kind of just Nutella and toast. Oh my, that's another level, Nutella and toast. Yeah, it is. It's insane. I'm really gonna make the most out of my non-vegan day today. Though it's actually just for this video, but so good. 100% recommend Saffron's cooking skills. Again, just something else. No, there was no cooking involved in this at all, but you know what I mean. It's actually pretty sick because you can do that with anything, like cheese or jam or whatever you feel like. I mean, I know it sounds kind of obvious, but like it's actually so much better because it's warm. It was absolutely perfection. <laughs> different to what I normally do when I make hot chocolate. I use water and I use milk. Although I don't normally make a paste, so I wanna try this out and see if it makes any difference. in regular powder we have salted caramel hot chocolate and it's basically just chocolate so this is going to be insane cheers here we go nice probably wouldn't do it again probably just make an all hot chocolate it doesn't really taste that different but yeah it's really not special at all hold up guys don't keep scrolling i'm gonna show you how to make honeycomb you want to add 200 grams of caster sugar into a large saucepan five tablespoons of golden syrup now just melt this all together on a low heat just keep mixing and it's currently creating the texture of the honeycomb. And pour it all into a baking tray with the parchment. There you go, and that's how you make homemade honeycomb. When I saw this, I was literally like mind blown. Like who knew honeycomb was this easy? I will probably still fail. No, it actually seems pretty easy. Like I'm even relaxed. Look at what my arm's doing. I'm actually buzzing for this. Can't wait, I'm gonna make honeycomb. So sugar goes in, and then five tablespoons of golden syrup. That's a dessert spoon, by the way. What's the tablespoon? Not that, it's bigger. Okay, brilliant. Grab yourself a tablespoon, not a dessert spoon. Five of these. This actually does make me feel a bit sick because the sugar in that is a joke. I feel the calories getting on my hips just watching this. By the way, if you like videos like this, you should go and follow my TikTok because I make actually no videos like this at all but i make according to my mom really cute dance videos so she should go follow me just top tip from me it takes longer than you think and it's got to get so hot because honestly i was going to throw this away i thought it was going to be a fail and i was reading through the comments and it said it's got to get boiling hot and now it's changing color yeah boys pour it in don't get it around the sides do not get it around the sides because that will annoy me so much. Unreal. By the way, love, love, love that girl's videos. If you haven't checked out her TikTok, go and do so because they're actually pretty sick. So everyone, that was my version of recreating TikTok food hacks. Part two. I feel like I did a pretty good job, pretty proud. The mozzarella dippers, never ever getting over them. They are just something else i can't even tell you like best thing i've made to this day not that i really make that much but anyways long story short just incredible have to go make them thanks guys for watching this video thanks for all the help thanks for sending me the links i love you guys on my instagram i love you here go follow my tiktok and i shall see you guys very very soon Mwah. hope you enjoyed bye oh and tag me if you do any of these because i want to see if they're just as good as mine <laughs>